Welcome to the cage, Mike Rio! And his opponent, making his way to the blue corner, John Ortolani.
Ladies and gentlemen, the following bout is presented by La Coronella Meat Processing. This bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the CFA lightweight division. Introducing first the man fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall. His official weight 154 and one half pounds. He is a wrestler and steps inside the cage this evening with a professional record of seven victories opposite a single defeat fighting out of Miami, Florida, Mike the Wolverine Rio. The opposition comes in the form of the man standing across the cage and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet eight inches tall and weighed in at an even 155 pounds. He is a mixed martial artist and steps inside the cage this evening with a professional record of six victories opposite three defeats fighting out of Villarica, Massachusetts. John Ornolani! Your referee in charge once the action begins, George Alonzo. And here we go, if you're just joining us, we're here from the Bank United Center in UM for what is to be our fifth matchup of the evening, which could very well be one of the main events of the evening. One of the main events of the evening yes. with Mike the Wolverine Rio against jo John Ordolani. And here we go, round one. Oh, without question. And this is a fight that John Ordolani requested uh, in, in a statement given to us by uh, my president and CEO of CFA, George Delano He told us Ordolani wants to take Mike Rio's fan base. Oh, wow. Nice low leg kick there by Ordolani. Yes, Ordolani wants to make short news here of Mike Rio. Mike Rio says he ain't having nothing of it. Definitely the reach advantage going to Mike Rio. Yes. I know Ortolani was saying that Mike Rio had had one of the uh, tough tryouts for the USC and that yes. he was going to make short news of him so Dana White wouldn't be too happy with that. And Mike the Wolverine Rio says he's having nothing of it. That he's going to go ahead and take Ortolani out. Nice jab there by Mike Rio. If you're just joining us, this is the fifth matchup of the evening. Mike Rio wearing the black and gray trunks. Ordolani with the blue and white trunks. Nice low leg kick there by Ordolani. Mike Rio trying to close that distance. Ordolani still moving to the blind side of Mike Rio. Nice feint and left hook there by Mike Rio. I mean, if one thing was proof with uh, Rio's only loss right now to Efrain Escudero. low leg kick there by Ordolani. And that loss to Efrain Escudero, the one thing we know is that Great Rio, right by Mike Rio, lands right on his opponent's chin. Rio definitely has a chin to take punches. Well, we saw that against Escudero. Those definitely has a chin. Ordolani working that low leg kick, very, very good. Already starting a nice little welt there on the back of the leg of Mike Rio. Peel some skin too. Nice oh, straight right nice. by Mike Rio. Going for the Catches choke. Catches an opponent in a triangle. Stand the guillotine. And he's hanging on there for dear life. Will he be able to finish Ortolani from this position? Mike Rio with some phenomenal wrestling. You hear the crowd behind him screaming Mike Rio. Going for a front choke. Ortolani playing it very safe. Mike Rio just cranking that choke, boy. Oh, 
Rio using his wrestling to take it to the ground and to the cage. And Ordolani winds up in half guard, and Mike Rio again tries to mount. Ordolani shuffling his hips over and is able to establish half guard again. Great job there by Ordolani to avoid the mount. But you know, when this fight goes down to the ground, Mike Rio is relentless and does not let his opponent down. So let's see what happens here. Definitely. I mean, the the high class and wrestler that uh, that Rio is, I mean, he definitely has an advantage on the ground when it comes to wrestling. Ordolani wants to take Mike Rio's fan base. The fans here say absolutely no way. <laughs> you have Mike Rio on top now, working his elbows in there. Referee George Alonso watching the action very closely. This is exactly where Mike wants to fight. Has his opponent pinned up against the cage. Has him in a very, very bad position. Definitely. See if he's able to sneak his right leg out and mount. Working nice elbows there, short choppy elbows. Yep. And forearms to the side of the face is Mike Rio. He's bringing him down hard too. Still dominating this first round. Mike Rio trying to make an impression here. Trying to finish this fight as quickly as possible, you can tell. Trying to rain down some punches to see if his opponent gives something up. See if either the referee stops it. Referee George Alonso looking very closely. Mike, Mike Rio is being relentless, man. Ten seconds left. Will he stop the fight? It He's is over. all over! Mike, the oh. Wolverine Rio! Wow! With seconds left in that first round, Mike Rio finishes this. Easily. Ground and pound at its best. I mean, Mike Rio was relentless with that ground and pound. Definitely proving he deserves this fan base. And I believe Dana White has something to look at. Here we go for the official results. Ladies and gentlemen, referee George Alonzo hosts this bout at four minutes, 53 seconds of the opening round. Your winner by TKO, Mike the Wolverine, Rio. Mike Rio quickly dispatches of John Ordolani in four minutes. All right, guys, seconds. I'm not going to ask this gentleman one question until I hear you give it up for him again. And also, I want a nice applause for his opponent here. They just put up a nice little fight, Ordolani. Now, Wolverine, this gentleman said that he was going to come into this cage and he was going to take your fan base. What do you think about that? Hey, John Orlini is strong, man. Hey, he just said he's gonna take my fan base. He's a great guy, he's been a gentleman since day one. He's never talked trash one time to me personally. And he's a very good guy because uh, one of his friends from his old town cursed me out on Facebook. John Orlini erased his comment, emailed my mom and told her that he was sorry for his friend disrespecting my mother. So real big goes for John. He's a gentleman, guys, 100%. Now, Mike, <laughs> it's obvious that you're one of the best and up-and-coming fighters here in the CFA 04. We wish nothing but the best for you. You got anybody you want to give a shout-out to here today, Mike? First of all, I want to give a shout-out 
Advocare, Walters Coffee Shop, ShepKWY.com, MMAow.com, New Breed, Boca Tani, ML Management Group, Zen Jiu Jitsu, Health Joint, Young Tigers, Cage Dominator, and DJ Reflex for making my song today. Mike, the Wolverine Rio!